<laughs> All right. Now we got uh, we got Catherine. You want to wear this headset while you play? <laughs> I don't know if it reaches. Will it reach? How far is this? <sighs> yeah, I don't think it, it won't reach. It won't reach. That would be next level, though. We can get your thoughts during the game. All right, so it's going to be Catherine McLeod. I wonder if they're going to play uh, Peach Ditto. Best of five. That might be happening. I don't know what he's... He's been grinding the Peach, but it's unsure. Uh, okay. Here we go. Uh, swap over there. Swap them around. Here we are. There we go. Peach Ditto. Best of five. Strap yourselves in. It's going to be a long one as they typically are. Where are they going to go? I think probably want to go to... I don't guess I'm biased, but I would say Battlefield. Just as a nice, fairly neutral stage. But of course it is a mirror match, so it doesn't really uh, matter either way. Although maybe, maybe one of them is thinking... Oh, there you go, Battlefield to this. So maybe one of them's thinking they want to like have a nice long one and they go to Dreamland and it gives them plenty of time to warm up and f feel the other person out. Alright, here we go. Round one, they're going to hand warmers because, you know, God knows they'll need it. Yeah, with a seven man bracket, like anything could happen. Yeah. It's round robin. You don't want to get stuck in like a four way tie in a second. There, is there even money on the line? Yeah. You, you haven't paid yet. You're okay. the only one. That makes sense. I paid venue fee a while ago. Did you pay. The melee me. Well, no, because I didn't know what was happening. Oh, okay. Because yeah. I was like, I was waiting and oh, waiting actually, and waiting. Oh, yeah, you paid venue. That's enough. That's fine. Okay. So I was waiting and waiting waiting. I was going to wait till melee starts and just pay at the same time. And oh, okay, then, yeah, like, yeah. it was, you know, several hours later. I was like, oh, I'll just do it. The melee might not happening. All right. Game one. Battlefield. Best of five. Peach versus Peach. And Daisy, dude. They're completely different characters. You know, that's not, you know, it's not, it's not Daisy though. You know what the scariest part is? They're more different than Peach and Daisy are in Ultimate. That's wild. I yeah, because they got different ECVs and shit. Oh my god. And every patch they literally just copy the data over to Daisy. That's nuts. So which... I, I got no idea if it matters that they're different. It's just I know they're different. That's like, wild. It's like, you know how, like, the green Falcon's the fat one and whatever. Yeah, yeah McLeod's a Peach grinder. He, he would know which one's got the smaller ECB somehow. He would. He, if anyone would know about that, he would know. Anyone in the room, I bet on him. Yeah. Like, he definitely just picks the white one because he likes it, but, you know. Well, he would not He would know the, you know, the optimal ECBs and whatnot. I, th I think you could say he swaps, right? I think he, he was going through phases of deciding, oh, there we go, the better Peach uh, yeah. wins. It's, yeah, no RNG in this matchup at all. No. Okay. Well, Catherine's traditionally been pretty good with the stitch faces, so yeah. that's something McLeod's probably got to think about. Yeah, long term is yeah, do I really going. want to be letting Catherine pull turnips? Because one of them tends to be the better turnip peach, and the other's like the better ground game ne peach. Close and I'd, game. I'd say that McLeod's probably the better close quarters peach, mm. just like based on his speed and whatnot. But yeah, Man. He, he also claws. Give me a distinct advantage. He claws. Oh, that's right, he does yeah. too. I completely forgot that for some reason. It's a little fun fact. It's a little McLeod uh, hint of the day. Trivia. Yeah. Good old trivia. Like, considering our other player that claws is Nick. Yeah. It's got a good 100% uh, of claw players are on the PR. That is true. Until I start to claw, then I'll drop down. <laughs> <laughs> well, maybe you'll get that one spot you need. Yeah, I love Serp. Well, actually, because he because the cloud's currently tenth, so if I dropped up to tenth, well, yeah, you'd both need to improve. Yeah, but I feel like McLeod's doing better against 
a few players that Catherine's not doing as well against. So yeah, maybe. Like I played him in friendlies earlier today, and he was way better at the mass matchup. Yeah, I feel like he's better against like. Honestly, the better the character is, it feels like the better he is. Whereas against like, I, it. Yeah. yeah. I don't know why. I think it's just the way it worked out. Whereas like, if I wanted one of the two to invalidate a low, invalidate a low tier, I'd be picking Catherine. Yeah. Like. Like, who I takes the less just... damage against the Bowser? I feel like Catherine wins that game. Catherine's like, she's willing to do anything. I guess. That's, I don't know. Yeah, one I, way of putting it. Or it's more, I think it's more that McLeod is very focused on, like, learning the matchups of the good characters. And yeah, sort of, yeah, that's definitely true. He's definitely on net play a lot, so he's just, like, grinding the fundamentals out. Mm. In this matchup, I'd say that Catherine's slight favorite, just because she's historically been really damn good at the beach today. Yeah. She's probably had a fair bit of practice being yeah, brothers just, with sisters. Just in general, being in the scene for a long time, like, sooner or later you're going to play other beaches here. Yeah, that and your brother is the best beach player in SA, so... Is he, though? That could be one of them. Could be now. I mean, nowadays, but previously. Oh, previously, yeah, he was the best beach in the day by default. Oh, yeah, there was chicken playing. Oh, yeah, true. Bro. Sometimes I forget, because he only showed up, like... Once every few week, months, but you know, he was around. definitely hype when he was around. Yeah. Hey, maybe it's uh, no. Nah. I, I thought she was getting Battlefield, hundred percent. Yeah. All right. Do you think if McLeod hadn't pulled the stitch, this would be an even game? Uh, about it. Catherine also pulled the stitch. She just didn't get the hit out of it. So. Mm. Oh, yeah. yeah. Oh, I thought he had the DI there. So close. Those two slaps made the difference. They, they really did, and that's what's shocking about it. Because you'd think, you know, maybe you just go for the throw and hope they miss the DI. Yeah. Catherine was like, no, 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 I'm going to slap this guy. I times. know my percent. Make sure of uh, nothing you can do about this one. Sorry, buddy. Mash out if you want to get out of the grave. If you shield drop and then immediately let go of a turnip, like the turnip will fall on the, on the platform. You're, oh my god, another stitch. Yeah. And all of a sudden, it's an even game. They've got one stitch hit each. Oh, he's going to pull his own stitch. That's a good strategy against the stitch, honestly. Ah, you don't. Oh, there was no DI. Uh, oh, you got to feel You can see it in his Catherine. face, too. <laughs> Catherine's happy, but if you're McLeod, you yeah. got to be feeling bad about that. Holy heck. Particularly when you're just like, oh, yeah, it was one stitch hit oh, to yeah. two. Yeah. Although actually it was one to one. Should right? probably change this one, hey. All oh, right, because it's not it's round yeah, robin. It's, it's round robin extravaganza. Ready? Yeah, I can't spell that. So uh, extra. Now nah, you. Nah. Ganza. Uh, I don't know if it'd fit. No, oh it's, no, it's Kai's got the technology where it drops him. Extra. Vaganza. Yeah. All right. Boxing her in. Try and keep her in the uh, corner. I feel like that's oh. where McLeod's strongest is when he's got the like advantage and just gets to float on shield mm. is like huge. Whereas Catherine's not really the sort to put a whole lot of pressure. Yeah, or well, she's more willing to like go for something that might it might work, but if it doesn't work, it, she loses up the yeah, yeah loses positioning. Where he's just gonna try right. and hold. So what we, what's no. that? Like three stitches and a satin so far this set. Yeah, gonna be a few more. This, that was this is only game two. Yeah, I know. Nice. There's going to be a lot of whack turnips at the rate nice they're pulling them. Yeah. I'm surprised we haven't seen any dot eyes. Yeah, just as rare as stitches, after all. Really? Yeah. I thought they were, like, slightly more likely. No, they are the same. Well, that was a really good forward. What the fuck? Stitches are more likely than items, right? Yeah, by mile. So, like, I think they're 1 in 58, and then... They're like 57 in like. It's like a 1 yeah. in 250 to get the I had the item thing on my phone, but my new phone does not have the image, so I cannot find it. But it's something like you've got a 1 in like 100 chance of an item or something. Or maybe it's a 1 in 128. Let's swap out now. Yeah. Alright. You plan that. Okay, yep. Yeah. Alright, so Lemons is out. Gotta go play games. The beauty of Round Robin. Look at oh, I gotta love Nia yeah, Down Smash sending exactly the same way. Good job. 
Oh yeah, McLeod, like, he did the right thing by not challenging immediately, but I don't know if you want to be putting your hands into the blender like that. Yeah, Davin, you gotta pay for that shit, dude. You come to Big Cheese? Um, yeah, also a reminder, price for Big Cheese goes up tomorrow. I'll make a tweet out about it after this event, but yeah. You're gonna have to pay a bunch. No. <laughs> Both throw turnips up and get hit by them. That was beautiful. Stupid, but beautiful. So, sign-ups end the, at the end of November, and then probably by like the second, I'd imagine we'd have a bracket out. At least for melee. Ultimate might take a little bit longer. Oh, okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, you can have a general crack. We could... Like, it's hard to know for sure, because if someone like Davin's showing up, but he doesn't sign up until the day, we don't know what the seating will be. But, like, you can get a general list going of who the good players are. Who's showing up, but who's signed up now. Just got to add Sora, because I don't think he's signed up yet. Big Bear. Needs a write up. I could be wrong on that as well. I have not checked them as thoroughly as I should have. I have an exam tomorrow, and then after that, I go crazy with Big Cheese stuff. Ooh, big power shield. Looked big. Got him nothing because it's peach turn up and no one expects it to. Oh shit. Alright, narrow shield. It's probably worth mentioning that these guys play a lot at like weekly, so. Yeah. For the most part, yeah, I think if he'd fought like a puff, he'd probably go to the weak shield. Or if he gets destroyed and knows the other guy's probably not super comfortable versus Luigi, but other than that, yeah, he's pretty much solo page. Yeah, green Greens is the stage, but it looks like, oh, never goes to Green Greens. Ooh, that's unfortunate. That's uh Oh, it doesn't matter. Right back. You can't just be floating there like that. You gotta you have to know. Yeah, good float now. After the turn up, knew what was about to go down. I feel like Catherine's biggest problem so far has been the float heights have been reasonably predictable. So McLeod's just kind of stopping her from coming back a lot of the time. Whereas something like that occurs with McLeod, where he's willing to like wait for the turnip to go up and all that sort of thing. Well, that was a good throw. Someone knows they did the spacing for the turnip. Oh, that kills? What the hell? I don't know if McLeod's DI was off. It was one point earlier. Oh, 
ton of physics were happening. I, I don't even mess that up. Alright, big narrow shield. Which goes far. Gets a shield poke with the turn up. That's something. I'm extremely confident going for the jump out of shield after that back air. Ooh, okay, yeah. That, that's reason. You can't get, be getting slapped like that. You have to know. Well, that's a classic Peach vs. Anyone technique of just hit the stick a bunch and see what happens. So yeah, I haven't been thinking about counterpicks, picks, but this might actually matter the way they play. Because Catherine definitely likes the close quarters. I am shocked that that interaction happened. Oh, that's just, yeah. So it's like, yeah, I know that should happen. Why was I there? Why was I there? Yeah, I think we're down to two peaches plus musket versus Ruben. Yeah, that's what we're down to. I don't think we got any more Peaches, thank God. It was a scary month when there was a guy from Queensland came down and played Peach and just look at us. Oh, Will D! Fuck, yeah, we got way too many Peaches. Dot Eyes. Now, Catherine's like, got a huge lead, what the hell? <laughs> uh, this is a classic spacing bow on. Shocked that he did not just nail it. Yeah. Can't be sitting below the platform like that. Like, if there was any stage, I would say Catherine's like. Really got an advantage on with this one, though, so. I don't think it's conducive to say this is what's gonna happen for the rest of the set. Because McLeod now gets to pick if he wants. Assuming he loses, which. God knows there's gonna be enough trades in a pitch dinner that it took up. He gets to choose between Dreamland if he wants the space, because or he can go Yoshi's if he wants the low ceiling. Depending on what he thought was winning him the game two. Which I'd assume was the space, but never know. He could just win now though, you know. Yeah, I like That's always gonna happen. You're probably best off there. Fading something out and then going for the hard punish, but really, what are you gonna? What are you gonna get? Like best down tilt or something? Uh, FD uh, did not think about this one as a big stage. Makes sense. Good counter from his point of view. Yeah. Catherine didn't have a jump, she just didn't have a float, so she comes back easily. Alright, yeah. Smart from Catherine. She'd been called out. Yeah, all round robin best five. Um, yeah, Catherine had been falling down straight on McLeod like that a lot and been punishing for it, so fading back. Even once every now and then is probably going to do a world of good. Catch. He knew he had to hit it as well, because otherwise he was in for a world of pain. Oh, back air knocks down at this percentage. Yeah. Just yeah, I guess that's why you don't. I'm all, yeah. I'm glad it's ready for the second one, too. Good double jab now. Nah. That was smart from the cloud. Unfortunately, we got hit for it, but no. What can we do? It's a beach to those. Sooner or later, that sort of thing is going to ha happen. Yeah. 
good now. Well, no, it is. They can't be full internal to that range. Yeah, you can't really get anything out of DI out down there. Catherine, a little bit greedy. I'm questioning that call to not not be higher, but you know, it works out. There's the extra couple percent for Catherine. No good. Yeah. Ooh, that's a big short out. Shock that down smash didn't hit. The amount of times that's hit. But I guess that's why he's been standing in that range so often, because he knows the spacing. He's just like slightly inside of it the last few times. The situation's come up. Catherine brought this game back real quick. I feel like she was down full stop not that long ago. Yeah, you can't be put in there, buddy. Gotta know the heights. Yep, good fair. Prince out the stock. Let's see if he gets anything for this stock. The big bear. If he gets Ned, yeah, Ned's stronger at that percent than Forte. Oh, she's got a stitch. Interesting. And she just throws it away. That's understandable. I think she felt like she was losing stage because she had it. And didn't really want to corner herself. She was like, ah, I can get out of the corner with this. Surprise from the cloud. Reel back a little bit from that one. Turn a pit, yeah. I don't know why, but it just feels like Catherine's forward throws are way stronger than the clouds. I think it's just because she's getting in by the ledge. That was smart. Make sure you get hit on the other side. Oh, it was all going so well until that point. Yep. You have to know in that situation. We're just going to get up and down smash, so... down 50%, which is like a third of a stop. Just brought it all the way back. She's acting like she's got a stitch again. Don't know if she does. Oh, yeah. Ooh. Right, good in there. Get the corner, and he just rolls out. Yeah, that's smart. Don't know when you're in danger and when you can just escape for free. I like that from Captain. Like, go for the thing that's not a true punish, but if they go for a certain thing, you get to. Alright, yeah. The cloud gets out of there. I'm gonna fail for the most part. It's lucky with the dash attack, because my god, could that have ended the set. Oh, that is so unfortunate. Let's just say it that way. Alright, GG's. Um, try to figure out what else we want on stream next. <laughs> 